Hi guys, welcome to this new Hacker Rank Challenge. Today, the title of this exercise is Breaking the Records. So this is under the Algorithms Implementation section. The instructions say we have a college basketball player. Her name is Maria, and she wants to track how many times in a season she breaks her record for the most points and the least points in a game. So whenever she plays a game, if her score is better than her current high score, then that new game score is her new maximum. So you can see we have this matrix here. Let's say game zero, she scores 12 points. There is no minimum, no maximum because it's her first game of the season. But by game one, it's zero base, right? So by game one, which is her second game, she scores 24 points. 24 is now her new max. So you can see we have one max here because she's broken her record once. By game two, she scores 10 points. That's her new low. So now we have one mean here. By game three, she scores 24 points again. It's not a new high score. She has scored 24 points before. So we don't record anything in this min and max column. They have this illustration at the bottom here if you want to better understand how to solve this challenge. I've already done it and I'm going to add a link to that uh, coding challenge in my description. But I'm going to uh, jump straight into the way they add the input in this program, which is what they have written here. So basically the first number is going to be the number of games, which is this one. In this case, for instance, nine games and also the score for these games respectively. If you look here in my right, I have my solution here. This is the function that you need to update. So when you begin this challenge, this is going to be empty. You, you're going to have to as the definition for this function here. So the first thing I'm doing is, as always, I'm adding an ampersand here to pass my parameter or my arguments by reference. And then I have this int variable, it's called the main, and I'm setting it to the first score of her season. This is what you see here. For instance, game zero, if her score is 12, then for now, her mean and her max are also 12 because it's the first game. That's where you can see that mean and max are both set to her current score, which is uh, the first game score. So index zero is going to contain the score for her first game. And then for most and least, these are also integer variables. And I'm going to use them to track how many times she breaks her record for her new high and how many times she breaks her record for her new low. So I have this for loop here. We're going to run through the entire vector, the dynamic array of scores. And at every iteration, we are going to check if her current score is higher than our current max what we have for our max value here. If it is, then we're going to update our max value to that game's score. And then we are going to increment the count of our most variable by one, meaning that we're going to record that she has broken her record for a new top score. Otherwise, if her current score is less than the value that we have in our current mean, which is her season low for now, then we're going to update the value of our mean variable to that game's score. And then we are going to record it by incrementing the value of our list variable by one. So when we are done, we can simply return a vector that contains the counts for how many times she's broken her record for a new high and the counts for how many times she has reached new lows during the season. So technically I could also create a vector like I do usually, and then I could add these values to my vector using the pushback method. But I just think that this is more elegant and I've not used that before on this channel. So this is something new for you guys to learn. All right, so now I'm going to run this code here. While this is running, let me add that I'm returning a vector because this is what the function expects. This is the return data type for this function. So we pass test case zero and also test case one. Let's submit this code now. And we've also passed all the test cases. So time complexity for this function is going to be linear O of n because we have to go through the entire vector to count how many times she breaks her records. And space complexity is also going to be O of n because we take the entire vector to process it and then get the necessary values for the vector that we need to return. So that's it for this hacker rank coding challenge. If you liked it, please make sure you subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll catch you next time.